Stargate Season 1, Episode 19. Oh my god! <laughs> What's up? It's JV and I'm back with more Stargate SG-1 with episode 19. On the last episode, we saw um, Daniel, not Daniels. Uh, we saw O'Neill and uh, Carter trapped on this ice planet, but it turned out to be Earth the whole time, which was so cool. And there is now two Stargates on Earth, and we're going to see what are the implications of having two Stargates on Earth? What's going to happen with the government? Where are they going to put this one? Who's going to be in charge of it? Or are they, are they just going to decommission it and put it in storage? So let's check this out. I'm super excited to see what happens on this. And um, I'm pretty sure O'Neill would be will be fine because he had internal bleeding, broken ribs, broken leg. I think I wonder if he'll just be better. Or he'll still have to like be recovering from those injuries, or that's gonna fast forward to like three or four months from now. But let's check it out as usual, guys. Check out Patreon for the next bunch of episodes. I'm not sure how many, maybe two, three, or four episodes ahead on Patreon. We just hit 57 patrons, guys. We're past our 50 patron goal. On to 100. Thank you guys so much for for um, signing up over there. It's growing this awesome community of people. You get early access. You get full the full reactions over there. So thank you guys so much. And if you can't do that and you just want to check it out on YouTube, that's no problem. Just leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. We need those subscribe subscribers because 80% of you guys are watching. I think a lot of you guys think that it's CJ and Go TV, but it's not. It's, it's a different channel. It's JV's Galactic channel. So make sure to subscribe. Let's go. This place has seen better days. It looks like a power plant or some kind of manufacturing facility. Computers have checkered patterns all over the outside. Well, that Drone protection. Oh no! Oh, security system went off. Pretty good security system. Imagine if that would happen if you like tried to rob something or security system was on and then they just like you just get knocked out no matter where you are in the building. You know, a lot of actors change their names. I don't think I would have to change my name. Do you guys know my first name? Anyone in the comments? You get 10 points if you know my first name. Carter? Tin Man. Uh-oh. Were they cloned? That's pretty advanced. If they are clones or robots. Yo. Okay. <laughs> I like how it gets up. Yeah, it's fine. Come try ya! <laughs> Please tell me he can speak English. Why'd you attack us? Attack? Oh, are you suffering any pain? Any after effects? Occasionally the heart must be restarted. Oh, uh, no, Jeez. I think we feel fine. The heart must be restarted. Come try ya! I am the last survivor of Altair. Excuse me? <clears throat> the last survivor. This guy's weird, man. What the hell is going on? Are they prisoners? Does he collect? Is he like the collector? But the episode's called Tin Man, so... I don't know. Maybe he's a robot or we something? We are in Section 3. Know. There has been trouble here lately. 99,207,000 of your hours. Okay, well, how many? 11,000 years. Oh, wow. How did you know that? That's right. Uh oh. Wait, how did you know that? The robots! See, everything is better. Even your minds. You are all much, much better. Oh better no, mine. they are. <sighs> Smarter? Jack, I think he's right. I feel great. Of course you do. Because I have given you a great gift. I have made you all better. Transferred their consciousness it's into robot to bodies? One more time. I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have saw the title Tin Man. I don't like that. I want to. Better. How? Unable to. You gotta get your bodies first. You will be back. You will. You cannot leave me here all alone. Hmm. He's a robot. Oh, white blood like it, like alien. What the hell is that? Get that on. Uh, I'm gonna need x-rays on all of them stat. What did he do to us? I don't know. Just let's everybody stay calm 
cut himself. Oh, he's a Girl, freaking robot. Are you doing? Oh, God. That looks really real. How are they doing that? Jeez. That looks so real. Wow. Impressed. That's a fake arm. Okay. Shoot. Alert! Security to the infirmary! Whoa, security, Dr. Fraser, it is us. Just Where are their bodies, man? Stand down, airman. Harlan must have transferred our consciousness into these bodies. Bodies? They probably, uh, he probably copied We're their machines, memories. Carter. That sucks, Tim, man. Are you okay? They're gonna come to the conclusion that they're not real. Classic. Well. Sci-fi. For starters, you've lost your... We still have our rights, Janet. What rights are you talking about? Colonel, no matter what he's done to us, we're still... Robot rights. Human? Is that what you were going to say? Get your bodies back. Go back through. Harlan said we'd be back. Yeah. Now we know why. Are the copies or what? Let's see. Because that's going to be sad if they have to, like, if they die or they... He, he didn't figure Harlan, out how to make them last long enough. Going? I've decided to send SG-5 back to PX-3989, see if they can shed some light on this. That's a mistake. Why, sir? He's not we a person. We that he He's transferred a robot. our consciousness into these artificial bodies. Why would anyone do that? Well, he thought he was doing us a favor. He thinks this is better. And I never even really thought of it at the time, but he must be artificial, too. Well, that would explain go. how he got to be 11,000 years old. What? General. What? Oh, shoot. They're shutting down. They need to recharge. Let's go back. Go back. My body back. Boy, I need my body back. What the hell did you do to us? You are angry. Yes. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't break you in half. Colonel, he's the only one who can put our consciousness back into our real body. I have transferred your consciousness to the synthetic. Well, transfer us no, back No, 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 yeah. They need no, it back. Not. It is permanent. I what? I do not want to hear that. Your bodies are all gone. It is what? all part of the process. Your bodies? This is what you are now. Your bodies are gone. I'm going to... I'm so mad. I would... Oh, my God. And you can't kill him because without him, you, you're... And you're stuck there. The bot, like if my body was dead and like rotting away, I'd be so upset. Oh my gosh, regeneration chambers. Attack the Borg. It performs work, requires fuel. It's not the same. Philk is not no, taking is, this right. Uh, maybe in well. a way, Harlan was right. Maybe this is better. Daniels is like these scientists are like trying to. You know, rationalize everything and thinking about the good sides and stuff. But he's a little more spiritual, right? So must be harder for him to deal with. The hell? Oh. Where are they? Well, some left of the ring we discovered. The ring which you went through. They carried along smaller, more portable power sources with them. Oh, okay. This is home, after all. They brought power they sources, so they can didn't. leave. They're obviously going to get the their bodies back, but still. Accept the gift. God, oh! What are you doing, Tilk? What are you doing? He's different. Oh! It should all be the same thing, right? Oh, that relieved the pressure when he hit his back on that thing? Uh, does he feel pain? All the sensations, right? What? Why would he pass out? Whoa. Jeez. He's malfunctioning. Terminator. It's only damage. I, how will all be well with him if he's dead? You, you will see. Uh, now the station is repaired. His the bodies you aren't aren't gone. They're just Keep like in stasis. Yep. Here's where the bodies are kept. Use your super robot strength. 
Uh, go away! No, no! Oh, be well. Please. Uh, you know, go back to your quarters and I will bring him to you. Well, How is this possible? How can you make a new synthetic teal without the original? Here we go. The originals are there. Do our bodies, our real bodies, exist somewhere? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Then I want you to put us back now. It's impossible. So if you can get his consciousness again from the bodies, then his consciousness never left. It's just a copy. He transferred all his memories, all his experiences. Yeah, they're just copies, right? So these guys can stay. But it'll suck because they have all the memories. Except that it's not really a transference, is it? Yeah, it's just From copies. From one to the other. We're copies. Yes. Here comes the sad the part. The the robots realize they're not real. Well, they know they're not real, but... They can never you live the lives. Existence. You would never have seen each other. Can never go back. No. no. Long here. Why can't you just make You're synthetics with, like, no memories? Just workers. It's a problem with cloning, and when if you transfer your... Your memories to that clone. He's gonna want to live your life, right? Somebody stole my life. That's what happened. You talking about my life? Hey, I've got every right to it that you do. You and I have got a few things to talk about. I'm not gonna give you a hard time about who gets to go back, if that's what you mean. Hmm. Well, thank you. It has nothing to do with generosity, believe me. You know everything I know about Earth. Oh, yeah. Codes, defenses. We'll bury the gate. And don't even think about trying to send a bomb to make sure. I wasn't. Yes, you were. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. Word. <laughs> Call me Jack. Jack. So this is Jack. That's how we distinguish them. They did mention they have a portable power source, so we might see these guys again at some point. Well, with Daniels there and um, Carter, they can figure some some stuff out. He's contemplating it. Have a good life. We'll see these guys again, hopefully. That'll be cool. It'll be a hard episode to do, but... So... The classic clones, um, but they're robots, but they have their minds copied into their bodies. And then the dilemma at the, well, they didn't explore it too much because, um, but there are, uh, I've seen other stuff where there's a big dilemma with who gets to live the life, li live their lives and who's the original and what right do you have that I don't because we're the same person and, um, yeah, it's all very sad if you really think about it because, like, Carter um, Daniels took it pretty well. Like, they weren't really that upset about not getting to go back. And um, because it's like if you were to live your life and then they're jumping, they're, they're, they're explorers, and all of a sudden they can't do any of that stuff. They're stuck on this planet in this, where, in this um, facility, maintaining the facility forever. Like, they, they wouldn't be okay with that. They'd be kind of upset. But there's no time to, to show all that. But they also mentioned that the some of the others, robot guys that were clones or synthetics, they made a portable power source and left through the gate. So that was a little hint or a little, like, um, a way for the writers later on to bring these characters back if they want to. If not, they could just say that we buried the gate and then they're gone forever. But if they want to, they could bring them back at some point because they could leave, which would be awesome. I'd really like that. That would be cool. Um, yeah, and uh, Tilk couldn't couldn't it didn't go well because the the two minds like the the Gould infant and um, and him like they couldn't their minds couldn't match up and then he had to disintegrate one <laughs> that was funny he's like what happened to mine i had to disintegrate it <laughs> that's cool uh, yeah it's a really really good episode um i have seen this concept before it, it wasn't super shocking 
But um, it is very interesting when they do this stuff. But I would have liked to have seen a little more um, controversy with who gets to go back. You know, uh, um, they could really get get really emotional and deep with that stuff and like philosophical on like, you know, they could have been pleading, you know, like I want to live my life. I want to see Sarah again and I want to go back to earth and, you know, all that stuff. They would never get to go back to earth. That would be a huge, huge deal. Like imagine just living in that factory. They can't go up on the surface. They can't eat again. They can't sleep again. They can't, you know, do talk to other people, see their friends, go outside in the sun. Like all of that's taken away. And they have all those memories. So it would be like, it just would be very difficult. And I think they should have spent more time on dealing with that that part of it and dealing with their new reality i know they're scientists and they're just kind of like all right this is the reality now and uh, let's let's move on and let's 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 live this life and deal with what's going on here but um i think they could have spent a little bit more time on dealing with the loss of of their earth you know lives and um it was it was good Uh, yeah and another cool thing was how um o'neill O'Neill's clone was like, oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna like try and fight you or, or you know, like in in another circumstance, if there was someone else, you, I could see them wanting to fight the other, the the real the real um, the real O'Neill for and kill him and then take his place. Like I've seen that where the the clone wants to you know tries to kill the person to take their lives, right? But they're, he's been through so much and they're kind of like they're, they're very smart and they're not like evil or anything or, or bad in any way that he just accepted his fate he's like i'm not going to do anything don't worry like let's just move on you know let's 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 carry let's carry on so ultimately it was a re- really good episode I, I wanted to see a little bit more from the emotional side because i, I it, yeah i i could see a lot more potential for that the emotional stuff but it was good, and now we have their clones, kind of like Riker, Commander Riker in Star Trek, how he was cloned, and there's another version of Riker in the universe, and he's just like the total opposite of Commander Riker. I forget his name, but he's like the opposite version of him. Not opposite, but just a different version of him, and he's somewhere out there, and I like that now they have their clones somewhere out there in the universe, and I hope that we see them again, and we see what they've done, you know, how, how they've evolved. Are they fighting against the ghouls? Are they, did they group form a group of rebels or something? Like it would, it would be cool to see that um, in the future. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you like this episode? Did you think it was mediocre? Was it one of your favorites? And um, uh, yeah, read all the comments. It is still a small channel. So don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't smash the like button, that helps out a lot. Let's get Let's try and get 300 likes on this video. Check out Patreon for the next bunch of episodes um, and the full reaction that was there along with Buffy and a a bunch of other TV shows you can check out. And uh, that's it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace.